Now, I bet you think nothing Christmassy ever happened in the trenches of World War I. Well, you'd be wrong, because on Christmas Day 1914, the British and German troops, who were fighting each other, held an informal truce, climbed out of their freezing trenches and played a game of football. Amazing! Imagine that. Oh, I'm imagining it. Huh? I'm imagining it. Well, you join us here in the final stages of this most unusual England versus Germany friendly. Oh, and it looks like Britain are mounting another attack, Steve. Usually it would be with guns and bayonets, but not today. And Jenkins has got through. That's a magnificent ball. There's nothing between him and the goal except a couple of unexploded bombs and some barbed wire. Shoot! Shoot! That's a poor choice of words under the circumstances, mate. Good point. Kick! Kick! And Britain have scored. That levels the match at 2 all. I have to say, the pitch is in a shocking condition. Absolutely, Steve. Well, strictly speaking, it's not a pitch, it's a battlefield. The players are playing upon no man's land, which is the area of ground between the two enemy trenches. And it looks like one of the British subs is warming up on the touchline there. Oh, no, he's not warming up, Steve. He's actually got lice from living in the trenches. And Germany are back in possession. This could be the winning goal here, Steve. Over here, Herman. On my head, on my head. Oh, sorry, guys. I probably should have taken my helmet off. They think it's all over. It is now. Unfortunately, not the war, but the football game. Great game, mate. Yeah, yeah. You want to uh, change the shirt? Oh, it might not be such a good idea under the circumstances. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you funny guy. You're all right, mate. Happy Christmas. You OK too, chum. Happy Christmas. Touching scenes there. It's hard to know how these troops are going to go back to trying to kill each other tomorrow. Maybe they won't, Steve. Maybe they won't. Merry Christmas. Once alone on the ice, the despair is overwhelming. Still, who's up for a game of football? Oh, me please. Do we have a football? We can make one out of ice. Topper! Hey! Keep rowing, lad. We should be out of this. Freezing cold sea in about oh, three weeks. I mean, it's only 800 miles. Just think of the poor wretches we've left behind at Rome. <gasps> Penguin meet anyone? Is there any more dog? That finished Friday last week. Sausage dog. How about a surprise slushy? Ooh, what's the surprise? I've made it yellow. Snow sprinkles? Um. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are on the wrong side of the wretched island. But, right, we're going to have to climb over the mountain to get to the port. We'll be risking our lives, but think of the poor men we've left behind. It must be a living hell. Hooray! I heard there are nibbles. <gasps> yes, I can offer you frostbite and hope you like penguin. Please, I am desperate. I have travelled all across South America and the South Atlantic looking for a boat to rescue my men. Now, please, if we do not live now, there will be none left alive to save. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We're back! Shackleton! <laughs> Shackleton? Ah, yes, right, sorry. It's, uh, it's been a while. We come back to rescue you. Ah! Thank goodness you're here. We're a man short for the footy. We've travelled thousands of miles to rescue you and take you back to civilization. Excellent. I'm sick of penguin. And ice football isn't great for the toes. Plus, a sea lion's made off with my banjo. Uh, then we've got her just in time. Come on. Oh, uh, remember, there is a war on. We can go home, but as soon as we get back, we all have to head off and fight in the trenches. Right, we're saying. <clears throat> Where is that sea lion with my banjo? Oh, I love this one. Trapped in a snowstorm with no way out, Arctic explorer Peter Freiken will take human ingenuity to the limit and beyond. If I could just squeeze out a poo, I could make a frozen chisel 
and dig my way to freedom. It's a true story. It's a poo story. It will warm your heart and open your bottom. Frozen Freuken. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it in anymore. Let it go, let it go. Let it curl up on the floor. I've been trapped for several hours underneath all this snow. And maybe it's the frost by talking and the lack of air to say goodbye. make a door I'm gonna make a door with you with me with poo that's me with poo I'm gonna make a door can I say something crazy will you marry me can I say something even crazier you are talking to a poo frozen Freuken coming soon though I'd probably give it five minutes if I were you Victorians. Victorian prisons were cruel and brutal places, although things were a bit different at Christmas. Get on with it, you criminal scum! Pick it up, you horrible little worm! Right! First of all, you will move these cannonballs from there to here for no reason whatsoever. Then you will turn that heavy crank around and around because I say so! We wish, we, wish we, wish we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Number 3102. What's going on? Well, it's Christmas lunch, isn't it? Time to stop the merciless punishments, the senseless beatings, and the pointless ritual humiliations and be nice to you for the rest of the day. There's a catch. No catch. Come on. You don't want your Christmas dinner getting cold. Is this what you do every year? One minute you're beating prisoners senseless and the next you're serving us a slap-up feast? Well, that's the magic of Christmas in a Victorian prison. In fact, uh, me and the lads, we, uh, we had a little whip round. I know you did. I've got the scars to prove it. No, I, I mean we all clubbed together. Yeah, on my head. Do you want this present or not? It's a watch. I, uh, I know it is a bit over the top. We're only supposed to give you lunch. But I think I can speak for all the lads when I say that, uh, well, you are our favourite prisoner. Wow. I'm touched. No. Happy Christmas. Hang on a minute. That says two minutes to one. That prison clock's running fast again. Well, that doesn't matter, does it? Well, of course it matters. It's not lunchtime yet. Now get cranking that wheel, you wretched lowlife. Ow! Oh, well, I guess it's better than eating sprouts. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> There's only one sensible thing to do with sprouts. Hang them on your Christmas tree. Mm, nice. Did you know Christmas trees haven't always been around? No. In fact, here's where they're from. Christmas fair. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, then only known by royalty. T'was not till Queen Victoria that you became so popular. She gave Christmas another lift when under the tree she put gifts. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, now I know you're 